welcome to another episode of Level 1 Restoration Behind the Scenes. We're out here in the alley with a, uh, a pretty iconic car here, a 1969 Yanko Nova. This one obviously is in rally green. This is a pretty well-known car. Um, it came to us just a couple of uh, weeks ago. Uh, this represents a good part of my summer. I worked on a three-car deal at this point with a gentleman out of uh, <clears throat> West Texas. And we have this, a Yanko Camaro, and a 55 Chevy, which is gonna be pretty exciting coming up. But uh, right now we're looking at the Yanko Nova. Um, this is one of, um, I think it's up to nine cars known to exist now on these Yanko Novas. They had intended on doing 30 some of them. I think 20 some of those cars, maybe 25 or so got converted to a 427. So that's a really big deal. 427 L72 engine in a, uh, a Nova, which apparently was lighter than a Camaro somehow. I don't quite understand it. But um, anyway, these are really special cars. This is gonna be part of a new collection, uh, which we'll be talking a lot more about uh, down in uh, the northern part of Florida. A wonderful family a group of people uh, putting some really nice pieces in their collection, and this is one of them. And uh, so this car here, we'll do a little bit of uh, fluff work on. This has been out of the public view for at least 12 years. I think it ran through a Mecham auction um, when the previous owner had it. Coming out now for the first time, there's going to be numerous little things that we need to do uh, to get it up to, you know, looking like it was done very recently. Um, batteries and you know just details and things like that um, like we do this is a restoration fluff we call these and a very exciting special car we also have uh, another one of these 69 Yanko Novas in here for a full restoration so it's kind of fun to have this reference piece in here for a, a few weeks or a month or two anyway to have a look at uh, but anyway, enjoy this beautiful Yanko Nova, and we'll take a look at some of the details. All right, let's take a look under the hood. So there's that uh, L72 427 we mentioned earlier. As far as what we're going to do to this car, I mean, this radiator cap, even though it's the right style, um, needs a little bit of attention. I think there's a little too much overspray on the intake manifold. Um, it's, you know, it's holding up pretty well. We'll do something with the battery. Um, we might do something with the exhaust manifolds and, and just a general cleaning and a once over of the restoration. I see just a handful of things that um, could be improved upon. And uh, the body and paint's holding up really good on this car. The word on this car is that it had a really good body, which is really exciting. Uh, for the new owners of this car to have such a great example of one of these cars. Apparently the documentation points out that it did come with those torque thrust wheels. All right, let's take a look around the rest of the car real quick. So just a couple of other things I noticed on this just with a quick walk around is literally fresh off the truck. Um, I see it needs uh, correct headlights. Um, for some reason, the uh, interior of the front seat seat belts aren't even bolted in. Um, just a lot of little things like that. This car probably, uh, a lot of these cars get towards the end of a restoration. It's really difficult to get them across the finish line sometimes. There's always just a handful of things. And and uh, we're not at all exhausted from the project. It's brand new to us. So we'll uh, attack some of those little things with uh, fresh energy. And uh, we'll ship this thing out in, I don't know, a month at the at the longest it's a it's a quick one here so awesome car great new owners thanks for watching